Okay, hi. It's me, your friendly neighborhood alien stranded here on the third rock from the sun. Hi, Kyro Star. And, as you can see, still working on the Audrey's. Almost done, I swear. I mean, no matter what, they're not going to be done tonight. I gotta do a clear coat. And that's not going to be done until the weather improves. So I'm going to start with glow in the dark paint. The stuff tends to be fairly clear, so I don't think it's going to affect too much. Especially if I do a dry brush. And it's just going to be on the insides of their mouths. see hopefully this does what I want it to do it looks cool I'm gonna move these um other ones here for now I was racking my brain earlier trying to figure out how I was gonna um Get them in the pots. Cause I, I really don't want to use that dry flower foam. Because, well, it sucks. I'm, I'm, I'm going to admit that. I, I hate that foam. I really hate that kind of foam. I do not like the texture. I do not like trying to work with it. I'm going to put it on the lips too, I think. So, hopefully it doesn't do too bad. I just kind of want to... Oh, mean on the tongue. It needs to be on the tongue too. Cause I kind of like the idea of an alien plant having some Bit of a little phosphorescent glow in there. But no. Um, so it was racking my brain. And I'll show you my solution in a bit. But I came up with a solution. That I think will work. I really think it'll work. It'll, it, it should be fine. I have a lot of faith in it. In this solution. A lot of faith. Some might say it's misplaced faith, but... And I didn't really do much of a test because it's uh, you know, how am I going to test it? I kind of want to finish these up on stream, but I kind of did a quick placement of my solution, and I think it'll work fine, you know. Oh, you need a really dry brush, do I? This stuff will probably dry fairly clear, I would imagine. I've never gotten it to uh, um, be visible. But I think like a quick coat might add. Just an, it doesn't have to add a lot, you know? Just a bit, you know, just a skosh. It's not like it's going to be visible, it's just this is purely for me. I gotta make sure they get into the light, like, right away tomorrow, though. Because my partner loves glow-in-the-dark stuff. And I think it would tickle them if I, tickle them if I, um... If 
I um, showed them the completed project because they've been seeing it like every step. And it worked and it glowed. Okay. Now I got the smell of hot glue going through me right now. So, I'm going to get my hot glue out. Okay, get my bin. Okay, get my bin. So, this is the solution I came up with. That is a solution I came up with. I thought I had eight. Oh, no, I do have eight. Pool noodles. So my partner, um, when when we do camping, when we do the, the big family camping trip thing every year, it's usually a pool noodle war. You know, kids making weapons out of pool noodles. My partner decided to make a bead lizard out of pool noodles and some um, rope and had leftover beads made from the pool noodles. Thing is, when I thought about this, when I thought of this earlier, I realized something. I want to get to this line right here. Just that line. And the pool noodle gets right about, about to that line. It can hold, it's easily glueable. It can hold the, the stem right in there and I can kind of glue and it should work. So I'm gonna pick out four that have like fairly smooth-ish ends here. And I am going to start by just gluing Cool noodles and into the cheap little flower pots. The very thin plastic pots. And it's melting through the hmm. I was hoping that would work better. It stuck to my um, thing, the holes. This is why I grabbed seven or eight. I figured there would be issues with the first one. You know, I bet if I doubled up on the plastic. Kind of went like that, maybe. Okay, no. It's stuck in there pretty well, okay. okay. I'm just gonna put a little hot glue around the, around the little nubs here. It was 12 for a buck, or maybe a buck 25. You know, not, Not super expensive for a pot. Okay. So. 
I just want to add a little thickness. And then what I'm thinking is... Um, I can do that. Then I'm going to add some weight around the back. I'll get the weights out in a second. Because you can see it falling. I don't know. I mean, the pool noodle is on there. I wish I had a low temp heat uh, glue gun. Let me grab my weight here. I gotta get some weights. And for weights, I got this bag of stones from Walmart. I don't know how long ago. I mean, it's been pretty old. The plastic here is yellowing. But I figure these old decorative stones should work for weight. They should work just fine for weight. I'm going to throw a couple right into the base here. That'll help, um... Hold the, um... Audrey up, I think. I'm going to the big one here. of the stock let it cool off for a couple seconds and then I'm just gonna pinch that in kind of hold it there for a second or two and then I'm gonna fill up No, nope, no, nope, don't. Not yet. This is the test. This is the test. Meanwhile, I am going to put some weights around the back here. Okay, just a few will hold it up. around the back that'll hold okay that's holding it up nicely okay let me get the other weights no I couldn't find all of them but I also figured these um, kind of glass aquarium plant bead things Basically, they're going to be fairly weather safe, I would imagine. I mean, they can go to an aquarium. And they can add some weight to keep it balanced. Along with the stones. Okay. Now... I'll bring my big one back over here for a Move my big one again. Because... I really don't have place for all my stuff. 
some of them got a little paint on them, it looks like. Hmm. Let me get my... Where's my rag? Not a problem, I can clean them up. I don't mind having a little paint on them. But my little tendrils... I was gonna stick... You know, a few of them Let the pot under there. Um, coming out of, coming out of the pot. I think. Maybe I'll make smaller smaller ones here. Yeah. And I can kinda glue those in or um Pin them in. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. I can make like little hooks. And just pin them in. Yeah. I'll do that. I'll do that after. I get all of them done, I guess. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I'm missing three. And I know where those three are. Did I leave them in? Did I bring them in here? That's six, seven, eight, nine. And I know where the next three are. I'm going to go be right back. I just got to go grab a couple of things. Mainly the other pots, so... Um, Oh, I'm gonna do this too. Let me do this too. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to be right back to get my other pots, so I'll see you on the flip side. Well, I thought I remembered where I put them, but I couldn't see them. That's okay, I got, I got backup. I got spare. I'm not, I'm not completely unprepared because the succulents came in this. Let's get some stones attached to styrofoam but I, I think the pool noodle will work there too so I'll deal with that later I'm gonna get the next pot ready Same dealio as last time. Just a touch of glue on the bottoms here to hopefully keep these little cheapo pots together. I'm just going to spray, squirt some into the bottom this time. Let it cool for a second or two. 
then I am going to place it in the bottom. Just hold it for a second. Until I can hopefully pick that up. This one I'm going to put the weights in right away because it's going to be for the just budding one. Networking. Okay, I'm just gonna do, do what I did last time, I guess. Just put some glue on the base. Yeah! Stringy glue. Stringy hack glue strings. And just hold that and let it sit. Then I gotta make little hooks, I think. Okay, okay now let's get some weight in there. These little pieces of polished rock can go in there. Ah! Okay, it's like, that weighs way too much for a few stones. It was stuck to my thing. I wish I could have found some like terracotta ones. I'm trying to add a little weight. I'm also probably gonna um, fix these with some tape or something too. Some of that as seen on TV kind of tape. I mean, that's going to be all under there, so it's not too visible. I just want to make sure it's like a little bit of weight. Okay, so I'm going to go around. The edge with some hot glue. And let it sit for a couple seconds. I miss doing these. I'm going to do more of these sometime. I was thinking about showing movies. Once, you know, October got done. And I could stream on Wednesdays. But with the archive down... It makes that kind of hard. I guess about to put these when they're finished. I mean, they're not finished yet, but at least for what I need to get done. That's for the big one. No, I have enough. For some reason, I thought I needed more. I'll use this third one for the big one.
I do want to put them all in the little pot. Little. Little ones. Yeah. Okay. I really need to get a low temp glue gun. That's the other thing I miss about my old glue gun. I could switch the temp. High or low temp. It was really nice in that way. Why am I doing that? I'm sure low temp would have worked better here because that's just melting the, the foam. I hope this works. Nope, not yet. It's not sticking yet. It's not sticking. Just gonna make sure the others are still stuck. Okay. Okay. So now it should be stuck because it's stuck to the table. I'm stuck to my mat, you can see. I wanna be Oh, clearing up hot glue for a while on this mat. Woo! Messy. Okay. But what's making a Halloween decoration without making a really huge mess of your craft area, huh? I wonder where I put my cauldron. Because I had like a sm small, medium-ish cauldron that I put those in. Because I was thinking about putting um, them in that. You know, putting little flower pots there, but mm, it's gonna bug me now. Okay, it should be. Can I put like maybe one more in there? Yeah, that should be enough to add some. Yeah, and where is it? There it is. Mr. Purple. Mr. Purple. I was thinking about this today. So I'm going to be making a sign, obviously. You know, don't feed the plants. I'll probably do that on um, on Friday. If I get around to it. Okay, that one doesn't need any more weight, I think. But I'll throw some of these beads in anyways, because... Because it doesn't need more weight doesn't mean it shouldn't have more weight, you know? It's having a little bit extra weight to help anchor it to the, um, well, whatever I put them on.
and it stays upright. Last one. This one's going to be the... You know what? I'm going to put it in the bigger one. I can't put it in the smaller ones, but... Okay, when, there we go. See, it's just, honestly, what I could do is just, um, no, okay. Do I get these rocks off? The glued on pebbles, maybe. Anybody need a disc of pebbles? I need something else though. I wanna... So I do not want to melt right into that glue. I can put some pins there to hold that down. And then I can fill up the top with some rocks. Actually, you know what? Nope, I can't pull that right out, can I? Nope. I mean, that's just going to stay right at the top. Yeah, that's just going to stay right at the top. But what I can do... Maybe put a layer of these stones in the bottom. Just to add some. Wait. And that'll add some height. Oh, it's a little too much height. A little too much height. I wanna maybe these beads I'm gonna use that. Never know when cans to the list of Pringles um cans will come in handy. So I want that up a little higher. bit of weight to the bottom and then I can put some tape or something at the bottom to hold it down I do not like that surface though I I don't where's my black where's my black we'll go grab my black paint I'm gonna get some more black paint. I really do. Sorry about this. I just don't trust those with the weight of that. So, I think what I'm gonna do. Yeah. 
What about my scissors over there? Okay, I'm gonna go grab my scissors. Be right back. Try all the squeaks and stuff. It's the microphone I'm using. I want to do my hand cams. I don't want to use my good mic because if I um or my better mic. I don't think I can call it a good mic, but I don't want to use my better mic because I don't want to risk it. I just want to cut um, this lid. I figure if I cut this rim off the lid... be better. Then I can do some a quick sand on it. Rough up that sand a bit. Put it like maybe back in the back there. But first I want to paint that. black. I'm just going to paint that black. Doesn't need to be perfect. I just need black. Is this... It's, it's matte. Okay. Whoops, I'm not going to worry about getting paint on the pot. It's just plastic. It's not like I spent a lot of money for this. I bought it for the succulents. to sand up the top here. It's kind of um rough up the bottom. Then I'm gonna I'm in this. I'm going to go Hmm. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to pin it, literally. I'll go grab my sewing stuff. Just back on the shelf behind me. Or behind my chair. I'll go grab my sewing stuff. Now I need to get my pins out. I think I can spare a few sewing pins. I, I got plenty. Oh, my headphones. 
I can't hear music without my headphones. The music will keep me sane. Let's put like it right, right about there, yeah. And I'll put a few black pins. In there, I'm just gonna put it right into the paint. I mean, this foam was already melting pretty bad. I know styro this styrofoam is gonna go whoosh. I just want a pin. And I want specific colors. I want plenty of pins. I want this to not move. What's Audrey's in? What's the big Audrey's in? It'll eventually dry under there. I hope. Never done this before. This is the first time I've done something like this, so. But it's nice to know that uh, um, it's all together. Okay, wrap up the bottom with my sandpaper. Hold on for a bit. Kind of wish I had like a little Maxwell House thing I could put on there. But I need a working printer. Staying up, this is taking the foam with it, but I'm okay with that. As long as she's balanced. Okay, next. Kind of wanna... Stick these tendrils into the foam. Gives it a little character. I have more leaves. I have more leaves. What am I talking about? Where do I put my leaves? Where do I put anything? That's where those are. Okay, I'll grab those in a bit. <clears throat> yeah, I'm glad I put in the extras because some of them are already moving, but. It should be fine. Okay. I'll go 
gonna put you over here, I think. This one. I need my wire cutters. And my drink. I'm trying to move a couple more pins in first at an angle. Ow. Gotta be careful not to get any blood in them. Not because of health and safety reasons. But because, well, health and safety reasons. I'm gonna see if I can, um, sometime for next year, maybe, add to my Audrey collection. Just one more. Add to my Audrey collection by, um, yeah, that's better. By purchasing a, uh, Pat, uh, um, uh, well, a 3D model of a cow plant. I mean, that might be fun. Okay, you. You know what? I got pins. Why not use pins? I already got them out. Okay, I need a couple... Of shorter ones here. Ah. Problem with these things is they get caught on each <laughs> on themselves so much. It's like I got like five. You know, like I grab one, and I get four. Use that one. I'll use that one. I think I'm going to use um, this one. Keep those up before it, so the dogs don't chew on them. I'm just going to pin them right into the foam. And just knocked a couple pins out of there. I'm gonna my pins over here. I'm gonna be right back. I'm just gonna grab like a pair of tweezers or something so I don't poke my fingers again. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Grab with tweezers. Uh, 
Now this was the only one of these they had at um, whoops at the Dollar Tree or the Dollar Family Dollar. They only had one of these succulents left. And, you know, fake succulents, obviously, because, you know, plastic. I figure some of these coming out a couple of the Audrey's would look kind of cool. It adds a little bit to it, I think. If I have any more, I'll add more. So I'm going to add a couple of those to the big ones, too. I think I'm going to go with this one. I don't think I'll have any more, though. I'm going to go with, like, one long one, I think. So I'm going to go with, like, that. And I'm going to add those to the big one. Remaining ones to the big one. Actually, you know what? How much do I have left? Yeah, I'm going to add the remaining ones to the big one. It'll help fill in a little bit. And then I might uh, grab some more leaves. Or something, I don't know. I'm not too worried about people seeing in the pots. I'm thinking the plant itself will um, take some of the attention from there. Kind of a big one. I'm gonna. What was that over there? Ow! Got myself with a pin. See if any more black ones. No, I, th I like this one as is. This one's perfect. You're the cutest. That one's the cutest. Yeah, you're cute too.
There's the pen. Yeah, this one's just got some small ones left. That's fine with me. Doesn't need to have the big ones. Oh, that one just came out. Okay. Pull that one apart and do two small ones. It's one of the angled ones, so I wanna put that one back in an angle. And this is one of the other angled ones. Okay. Wow. Only only about an hour. I'm just going to put another pin in there. It's a blue pin, but... It'll work. Okay, I'm gonna plug my glue gun. I think that's good. Yeah, I think it turned out better than I thought it would. We'll see how the glow works, so but that's gonna be later. Got let these, got the let let the glow paint charge. I don't know if it's gonna be much of a glow, anyways. I mean, if it is, that'll be cool. But otherwise, okay. So I'm gonna do a bit of cleanup here. And then I'm going to try to get them all in camera. So, um, I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm just going to mute myself for a bit. And, um, do cleanup, I guess.
Okay. There we go. Wanted to clean up the mess a little bit here. I'm going to get a picture of all my little friends all together here. All my new little friends. I want to get a picture. Oh, they're doing fine right now. They're doing fine, Zed. How's it going? They're all behaving. I haven't fed them any blood tonight. I'm getting a little hungry. And I think I just finished them. I think I just finished them. I mean, other than the clear coat. Oh, that was a raid. Part of a raid. Awesome. Thanks for the raid. I just, I just noticed that. <laughs> Sorry. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm Hikaru Star, friendly neighborhood alien, stranded in town, Sir and Sun, and I'm painting. Oh, well, I was just painting Ardu too. They just finished them. Um, what was I doing? I was gonna do that. It should be up by now. Oh, come on. I just, I just, well, I just took the photo, so there it is. I just want to show my photo that I took, just took of them. I wanted to get a photo of them before. Whoops, not down, up. That is what we got. Kind of see my setup here. But that is my Audrey 2s. All four of them. A little baby one. Wait, hide that again. The little baby one. Just a cute little thing. Slightly more mature one. Still hasn't opened up yet. This one's... This one's getting kind of hungry. And the big one. This one will bite your hand off. That, honestly, is it. I think I'm done with my Audrey's. And I don't have any other stuff for, for any other project in here right now. Uh, mainly because I don't know what other projects I got left to do other than a couple signs and filling out one area. But that's an, some of that's an outside job. So, yeah. Sorry you guys raided so late. I'm going to probably call it now, I guess. <laughs> because I have nothing else to do on my Audrey's. I don't have anything left to do. Other than the clear coat, and I'm not going to be spray painting inside the house. That'll be outside when the weather improves enough. So, I'm going to go see if I can find somebody to raid.
Oh, I'm so I still love this thing. Who's playing what? You're playing Dragon Ball. And you are playing Genshin. Okay. Okay, I am going to send off a raid. Let's figure out what I'm doing. Okay. Start raid. And raiding. And that'll be on the hand cam for the night, so I'll see you on the see you tomorrow with some Pokemon. See you on the flip side. Bye. <laughs>